Good morning, children. Welcome to today's virtual session of Eighth Standard History. Let us begin today's session with a very beautiful quote: "Strive for progress, not perfection." Children, this is an inspiring quote for young achievers working hard in their lives. counting only certificates and salary slips in this harsh judgmental world it's hard to prioritize what truly gives us a sense of achievement to make a difference rather we decide to conform to the rules of society to strive for prestigious college high paying job and expensive house this is not the progress of our mind and certainly not what we are really capable of doing it's just leading to a turbulent life in order to get approved we should move away from these deterrents and create a life that would make us proud when we look back at it so children today in this session i would like to introduce the topic non cooperation movement still now in eighth standard history you have come to know about the sources of history europe and india effects of british rule the freedom struggle of 1857 social and religious reforms and beginning of freedom movement today i will continue the topic non cooperation movement so it is necessary to open your textbook history civics textbook you should open page number 31 and you should listen to me carefully children in the indian national movement the period from 1920 to 1947 is known as the gandhian era after the death of lokmanya tilak in 1920 the reins of national movement went into the hands of mahatma gandhi He gave a new direction to the freedom movement with the principles of truth, non-violence, and satyagraha. Due to the influential leadership of Mahatma Gandhi, the national movement became more comprehensive. This led to the beginning of a new era in the freedom movement. of india so children after the death of lokmanya tilak in 1920 the reins of the national movement passed on to mahatma gandhi under his influential leadership the base of national movement widened further and the new phase began in indian freedom struggle mahatma gandhi went to south africa for some legal work in 1893 south africa was a colony of the british many indians had settled there for business trade and such other work the indians in south africa were treated as criminals and humiliated at all times 
in 1906 the government declared that that it was compulsory for the blacks to carry an identity card and their freedom was restricted as well gandhi ji followed the path of satyagraha against the injustice and gained justice for the people so children gandhi ji began his work in south africa in africa the black people and the indian residents were subjected to injustice and tyranny by the british government gandhi ji opposed this injustice and secured justice for the people there by leading them on the path of satyagraha so children gandhi ji launched launched satyagraha against this injustice and gained justice for the people